of tonight again. But let's see how like far Kickboxer J is going to bring it. Does it count as an OQ if he actually wins this? What did you say? Does it count as an OQ if, he, if Kickboxer wins this? It's um, going to go to the final match and Kickboxer still has to play into this game and NG Pro will send out their last player. But let me introduce these players on this map first. It's going to be Quick Kickboxer from the uh, Kickboxer J from the Heralds of Apocalypse, on spawning in the top left corner as the Terran player, and in the top right hand corner we have NG Pro's Pox, the Protoss player, who is being sent out. So let's see what this map uh, match will bring. It means that if po if Pox is able to win this match. It means that uh, the Heralds of Apocalypse will lose this clan war instantly. Then they will have the 5 points needed to win a best of 9. But if HOA's Kickboxer J wins this match, we are going to go into the final match. And that last match will decide who will win this, cl uh, this clan war. So let's see how, ki how far Kickboxer J is going to bring this. Or if uh, Pox will bring an end to all of this. So I'm very curious to see what kind of strategies we will see. We didn't see a liftoff coming from Kickboxer's J base just yet. And it looks like a very standard... It, it, it is being done. I saw it yesterday, actually. I don't... Yeah, it was in um, in Challenger League, I believe. In the, in the, code, a, in the code A matches. We saw a, a Terran versus Protoss liftoff and a big push with tanks. And uh, mar a lot of Marines were making its way across the map while being very annoying with a Banshee as well. So it does work and he did win this, that match, but I don't remember the player who uh, made it work. It, uh, it was uh, very exciting to see and it does work apparently. Oh, I've seen it work several times against Zerg though. It's actually really scary. Yes, if, if Zerg does not scout it instantly, I would still say that pulling the the, dro uh, the drones is the best way to deal with it because you do have a, like four worker advantage when you go into the fight. Yeah, um, that's a big advantage. That's a deal. Now this probe is being stuck in the main base. He's not even finishing the uh, the supply depot just yet, but that probe is not going anywhere. So let's see how annoying he can be with it because that's the only thing that will be useful for. Well, Boxer brought this upon himself. Yeah, it would well, be weird if he would lose annoying. anything. Uh, the Reaper would just go and shoot it in the head. The Reaper will get the final shot off and he actually did go for that Reaper. Very nice to see that as well. I wonder if the Reaper gets paid per, per shot per head he kills. If so, does he get payment for that prop? I don't know. I, he probably does it for charity, just for the fun of it. Because he <laughs> likes to fly around with those jetpacks and just yeah. be awesome all day long. I mean, I would too, but then I'd fall off somewhere and die, so I'd rather not do that. <laughs> so let's see, the Reaper is making its way inside the uh, inside the main base, it will get so a nice scout out Exactly, so it oh, will not get, get another kill. But the Nexus well, is already down, it's, it's a very quick Nexus actually. It's a somewhat delayed command center for Kickboxer. Exactly, he's going for that factory first, so let's see if he's actually going to use it for something. He's we don't mind. I think this is just his standard build. Yes, or is he, he going to... the factory a bit on the bigger map. Yeah, or is he going to do a little bit of a delayed uh, Nathanius push where he... Uh, <laughs> where he denies scouting with the Widow Mines and then drops them in the mineral line before any real detection is out, because he can spot for any detection. And Box is going for a Stargate. Which is immediately spotted. Exactly. Literally within seconds. Exactly, but maybe that was the case. Maybe he's going to put some uh, put some mind tricks that on, uh, on Kickboxer weird. J. I felt like he could have killed the Tripper, but the Mothership or he fired slower than he could have. It was very close indeed, but he gets out alive and maybe he can get another scout done. But with the army that is growing for Pox, it is increasingly hard to get past those uh, those Stalkers and Mothership core. Uh, when they are out, and the sentry will also help tickle that, uh, tickle that reaper to death. The medivac isn't on the way because he has no gas mostly. He is building the medivac right now, and he does have two widow mines ready. And the bunker up front to prevent any light push. Yes, he's very, very supplying, very somewhat behind in SCVs, six SCVs behind. That's a really 
That's quite a lot, actually, indeed. But the Nexus was game. quicker, and he's chronoing those. Uh, th he's chronoing the Nexus uh, pretty intensely, and it will all depend, most likely, with that medevac. I'm wondering how the timing will be. If he's going to go for that drop, there he goes. Will he keep the Oracle the at home? The Fox went for an Oracle anyway, even after it was immediately scouted like that. Well, Maybe yes. he's trying to play a kind of mind game, make the make Boxer think he's going to cancel it, but there's a window mine anyway, and the I Boxer is a safe player, and boom. I don't oh, think that, that it was scouted that was then. Oh, the missile turret is already down. One kill for that Oracle, but the window mines are being burrowed right now. The robotics facility is not done yet. The target Will they get scouted? a nice hit off? The Oracle is not at home. It does not have the energy at this time to actually uh, do anything about it. Another Widow Mine gets dropped. And let's see if it can do more damage. No, only one more drone kill. And the Observer is being, uh, being produced immediately. Chrono Boost being used, of course, because you do not want to, uh, uh, you do not want to lose any more probes. Oh, and actually, he's keeping one, uh, one probe from mining, putting it on the middle mine. Wow, it got a lot more kills in that second shot. Seven and kills. Seven kills in total, which means five. Yeah. No. I think you can actually make the widow mine fire at some things. Yes, you can. Uh, you you can do it, but you have to be very careful, and you have to click the probe like a maniac to do so. And it looks like the oracle wants to go for another round. Mm. I'm actually was very I was actually very impressed the first time he reacted a uh, split second before the widow mine blew him up and put it back. Yes, a very nice, uh, very nice pullback. I was almost thinking maybe it's just a little bit too late, but the activation time for the widow mine was just a little bit too long, and he's going into Phoenix second production. Where you can see the widow mine, but there's a bit, actually a very big difference even with the dead probes. He's 13 probes ahead at the moment, first of because the oracle is doing its job. And the Oracle and indeed got on some more kills and it's it's continuing to be very annoying for Kickboxer J mm -hmm. right here. With and pure money it hasn't justified its existence by how, ma how many SCVs it's killed, but because it's keeping the army back and he sacrificed a bit of economy to go for that aggressive drop, it actually made a lot more than its pure value. Exactly. Oh the Oracle was trying to poke again again, only losing a little bit of its shields. And an, an hallucinated oracle is making its way across the map as well. Oh, well, very nice. Mm. Is he trying to but the, the, the detection I from the missile turret will yeah. scout that immediately. The but maybe didn't activate on it. That's interesting. No, probably because he saw that it's an hallucinated uh, oracle. I d I'm not sure how the game works in that case. But he's I'm still sure trying to chase it. He wants to get rid of it as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay, but the Phoenixes are in position, so any drops will be thwarted immediately. That's just not possible on this map, and he's going for a double medevac drop as he takes the high yield expansion with his third command center. Oracle moving in once more, gets another kill and gets out of there alive. It's very nice if you can keep that alive, but those... Yes, Oracle can do a lot of work. Oh, the boost is, a, uh, is possible to use it, and it gets activated, and it looks like he's almost to unload his entire medevac. He's actually unloading its entire uh, medevac. Still has one medevac alive. Photon overcharge is being used. Colossus is out. Will he be able to snipe it? I don't even think so. No, there's no Marauders there. No, exactly. Just it is an interesting game, PvT. If you have one of them, you can just queue all the medevacs and shut down your opponent completely. Exactly. Because they actually win against the Vikings. Yeah, the Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Colossus composition is something that I do love to watch. It's very difficult to deal with. And you need such an overwhelming numbers of Vikings to efficiently uh, deal with that. Because yes, those Phoenixes are sturdy. They so. don't beat Vikings, Vikings in even numbers, but you can go in with the Phoenixes, shoot a bit, and go out a bit in small numbers before the sh their shields deplete. Yes, well, actually, the best thing you can do is completely ignore the Phoenixes and go for the Colossi as soon as possible. But uh, depending on the positioning, that's not always possible. And the Phoenixes can completely ignore the Vikings Vi Vi and just shoot all your medivacs. Well, it's better for them to shoot down the, the, the Phoenixes because the medivacs, by the time they are dead, they will have depleted their energy as much, uh, uh, quite a lot already. He does not want to lose a Phoenix for free, and he does lose a Phoenix for free. That's a little bit too bad. And yeah, he's not quite producing expensive. anymore. Oh, he is starting pr production again. I guess he likes his 4 Phoenix count. Oh, it's 
Phoenixes. No, he, I, it, it should climb up a little bit more, especially with the amount of Vikings that are already out. And it would be very nice for him if he would able would be able to focus down the uh, the mothership core as well. The Colossi is still alive, but the mothership core does fall right there. Looking at the upgrades, we do see that Kickboxer J has a plus one plus one upgrade already. And do we actually have a forge on the map for uh, for Pox already? No, we do not see a forge anywhere. And he's hallucinating a lot of those Colossi, putting them in front actually. And let's see how that will work. This is definitely looking all inish. Yeah. Getting three pylons up to warp in as much as possible. He warped in a lot of extra gateways. Uh, it's just actually far in front of me. We're at 11 probs ahead. But the lack of upgrade seems really odd. Exactly. Well, se yeah, also 70 workers. The observer does spot everything that's going on with the army of Kickboxer J. And he's a very nice spread on that army as well. The double Keep forge is going down. Okay, he's going to transition out of this. He realizes that there's no way that he can do damage to this army. Six Fien uh, six Vikings out already. Seven Vikings even. Nice. And the, and the Watchtower is being taken. As the Protoss also tries to expand to take his fourth base at that high yield expansion. I'm actually not quite sure if I uh, if I really like it in that location. Uh, it considering makes the army. Make I think it's fine because he has the Phoenixes. Otherwise, because he has some marine, you need to chase the medivax. Otherwise, the medivax can just lift up into the main drop there, go back to the goat. But to the phoenix, it should be fine. Yeah, most it's always dangerous to take let's goat hope so at least. <laughs> it's always dangerous to take this goat base, but there is some value to it. Okay, so the phoenix being sent out to snipe one of the colossi. Will they get one? Well, they do so much damage against those uh, colossi. They go down so quickly. Both. The Vikings and the Colossi are without upgrades, and it looks like we're going to have an engagement here. One Colossus falls already, focusing on the second Colossi as well, but the army is oh, the shrinking. Vikings down. For, yeah, the, Vi oh, the Vikings are gone. There's you nothing to support this army. And there are three Colossi left. This looks very strong, and there's a GG. Fox 